Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, Radical Expressions, Example 4. In Example 4, we have to do something called Rationalize the Denominator. Well, um, you can't have a radical in the denominator. Um, uh, so, we, uh, I'm going to teach you a technique to get rid of this radical in the denominator. Now, it's uh, it's really pretty simple. Uh, the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is 7. And that goes for the square root of anything. So what I said was the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, well that equals 7. So to get rid of this square root of 7 in the denominator, I'm going to multiply it times the square root of 7. Well, I can't just multiply the denominator of a fraction times something. It changes the value. So, to fix that, what I'll do is I'll multiply times the square root of 7 over the square root of 7. See, that way I'm just multiplying the fraction times 1 and I'm clearing up what I have to clear up in the denominator. So to rationalize this denominator, um, I've multiplied by radical 7 over 7 and I end up with 5 radical 7 over 7. Now I know that this doesn't look any simpler than what we started with and that's why it's not called simplifying. It's called rationalizing the denominator and it just means getting the uh, radical symbol out of the denominator. Uh, we'll be doing the same thing in example B. Um, here we have a radical in the denominator and the same way that uh, radical 7 times radical 7 is equal to 7, well, the square root of 3b times the square root of 3b, well, that equals 3b. So to rationalize this denominator, I'm going to multiply the denominator by the square root of 3b, and if I do that to the denominator, I have to do it to the numerator. So um, uh, in the denominator, I end up with these with in the denominator, I just end up with 3b. And here I end up with the square root of 6 B because I can put them all together under 1 and 2 times 3 is 6 so it's the square root of 6 B over 3 B